This will be a collective reading. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending you all love and light. As usual, this will be a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. This will also not be for any specific zodiac signs, but if I do see them come out, I will mention them. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, click the join button below. Or you can find more information about joining in the description box. You can also find information there about private readings. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. So guys, I've already seen that you have communication coming in. Somebody wants to talk to you. All right, let's see who this is. Let's see who this is that's coming in to talk to you. Let's get a persona of this person. Who's coming in that wants to talk to them? Hopefully this part is a good person. <laughs> wants to talk to the collective who wants to talk to the collective spirit their pers personality or their persona or the energy of the person that wants to talk to my collective who wants to talk oh this could be a, a, a feminine energy it says the powerful woman hmm this could be a businesswoman or a regal goddess and naturally confident. That's who wants to tell me more. Who is this person that wants to talk to the collective? The party. Okay, this is already getting confusing. And the avoider. Not right. Ooh. You know, guys, they did tell me to pull three. Ugh. <sighs> Could find love later in life, age and differences in relationships. What is this? So the person coming towards you could be older than you. Why do I feel like this powerful woman energy is you? I feel like you're this person that some of you guys have businesses. You take charge in life. You, yeah, regal goddess, god, whatever, naturally confident. There's somebody that wants to come towards you that is guarded, <laughs> avoidant, self-sabotages, sabotages things because of their insecurities, ugh, out of fear. This is somebody that they could be a partier or they just kind of live like a, a wild or crazy lifestyle and they're not ready to be done with that or maybe this person feels like you're powerful and they can't tame you let's see because what is this the older lover the alpha see they take charge in the relationship want someone who will challenge them they control their they control their mind and emotions see i swear somebody feels like we have soulmate on the back of the deck so this could be a soulmate of yours Somebody that still doesn't really know exactly what they want. And I feel like you guys know exactly what you want. So whoever this is, you and this person are not on the same page. Why is, if there's like a maturity difference, because why is the older lover here? The situationship, see? They have no idea what they want. Difficult to find a healthy relationship. Confused and still stuck in a situationship. This person is not, they're not ready to settle down. Like they're still very immature. Yeah, they're wild. They bring a lot of fun and excitement. Can be unpredictable and destructive. And heavy on the, in, in, I can't even say this word, uninhibited sexual experiences. Yeah. This person likes to go for people that they can dominate. This person maybe goes towards people that have to rely on them financially because they feel like that ha they have power over them. Lord, keep secrets in relation. Often tells only half truths. No, sir. No, pr not proud. This person kind of views you as a challenge because I feel like this person is used to like submissive people and they don't view you that way. They feel like you're kind of like overpowering them. They're used to being like the alpha male or some shit, like being able to like get their way, be in control. But they can't do that with you, I feel like. So why do they want to talk to you? 
the defeatist has given up on love, expects or accepts failure in love, self-defeating attitude standing in the way. So they're coming towards you because they feel defeated. See the sex sorcerer. See, uh-uh. What is this about? The sex sorcerer? The online dating, dater. Guys, I feel like this person feels like they haven't had much luck. If they've been exploring their options, they feel defeated because... It's almost like the things that, how do I say this? This person that's coming towards you, this person feels small or defeated because you're unimpressed by them. Like they just feel like you're unimpressed by them. Like may, I told you, they're maybe used to people kind of like chasing them or thinking that they're all that. And you kind of just are like, no, you know what I mean? So, ugh, goodness. The traditionalist, their beliefs and ideas run deep. They are not prone to rapid change. They have traditional views and rules. I wouldn't say that. The clueless. Yeah, clueless when it comes to relation. This person doesn't even, they've never even, they don't even know how to be in a commitment. Doesn't pick up on subtle advances. Spoils their chance through their own ineptitude. I'm telling you, this is not somebody that's commitment material yet. They will at some point. For some of you, this person isn't going to be able to settle down until they're like in their 40s, 50s. And then, I mean, unless you're dealing with somebody that already is in their 40s or 50s. And they're, if they're acting this way still, I'll, for those of you who your person is in their 40s and their 50s and they're acting like this, I would, you know, peace. I would, you know, chuck up the deuces and... um move on, you know, completely move on from that. Cause I don't feel like, especially if they've already gone through their second Saturn return. Yeah, guys. So for those of you that it's like an older person, like mid eight, middle aged person that's behaving this way. I don't know. But if it's like somebody that's maybe younger or going through around their first Saturn return, I don't know why I'm feeling to talk the need to talk about Saturn returns, but maybe but it's like almost like that person won't be ready until they're in their 40s or 50s or something like that it's crazy oh, we're gonna get more clarity i know it's probably not what you guys want to hear or it's just gonna take this person a long time to grow up or there's just like a difference in maturity levels there like you're way more mature than this person is they have a lot of growing to do you may be ready to settle down they are not they don't even know how to uh be in a relation a committed relationship really so we have thorny rose here Painful love experiences, fight for love, worth the troubles. We have secrets, secret love, admirer, moving in silence, more to be revealed. Tell me more. Karmic connection, Lord. Full of turbulence, past life, unresolved issues, unsustainable relationship. Yeah. Apology, though. Confession, mending relationship, rebuilding. Tell me about Thorny Rose. Healing. I saw when I was shuffling the other, what was it? Was it this deck? Yeah, I saw the timing card. So Spirit is saying that there's something about this. If this is something that's meant to be, it will happen in divine timing. It's not right now, though. Healing, reevaluating needs, self-care, self-love, moving forward. So some of you guys have made the decision to, even though it was hard, to move forward and let this person go. Yeah, because you just feel like they're not going to grow up anytime soon. What you want and what they want are two different things. Tell me about it. They were maybe keeping secrets from you. Yeah, this person was hiding things from you. They loved bomb you. They emotionally manipulated you. This is definitely like a player, ladies, man, ladies or man's woman, whatever I'm trying to say. Like they're a player, whether they're a man or woman, whatever. They like attention. We have foolish, foolish choices, carelessness, not serious. See, this person is just not, they're playing games and this is not going to be sustainable. It's kind of like they're wanting to kind of give you a reality check with this reading. Like whoever you're dealing with, yeah, unrequited here. Feelings are not mutual. Maybe somebody is not really wanting to build something right now. Like you're maybe wanting to. What does apology mean for this other person? See, chill, they're immature, guys. I'm telling you, children. Separation. The One of the biggest reasons why you and this person are in separation is because they are childish, guys. They need to grow up. <sighs> Test of love, relationship breakdown. What about unrequited? Shocking events. Okay, what is that? In fights. Okay. Oh, what what was there? What is their intention with this apology that they're coming in with? Okay, we have you have true love here and heartbreak. Oh, 
So what what did, what did they think was gonna happen when they came in with the see jealousy? They've been somebody's been watching you. So did they think that y'all were? What do they think? They are a love offer. How is the collective gonna feel about this? How is the collective gonna feel about this? You're not gonna know how you feel about this. Yeah. Lack of clarity. You feel like you need more information. You feel like it's just not, you don't have enough information to decide whether or not. So here's the story I'm getting, guys. You guys made the decision to move on from somebody because they were childish and you felt like they were not going to grow up anytime soon. All right. This is somebody that was keeping secrets. They wouldn't admit that they loved you. They were being very sneaky. They were, they were emotionally manipulative. They liked to get attention from multiple people, sleep with multiple people. They weren't ready to settle down despite what they were telling you. All right. The, the connection was full of turbulence between you and this person. They may have even had things from their past that were still unresolved. Okay. That you just came to the conclusion that it was unsustainable. So I do, do feel like you guys, and that this person was playing games with you. They weren't serious about you. So I feel like you guys made the decision, even though it was difficult to move on out of self-care, out of self-love, you reevaluated your needs. This person was not able to meet your needs moving along, right? Well, somebody wants to come in to try to mend things with you. Um, but there's something here about like, maybe it's unrequited. Like they maybe want to rebuild a relationship with you. Uh, the separation definitely occurred because of them being childish. And you guys may not be expecting this. You guys may not be expecting this or see this coming. It's going to maybe be a surprise, but it's almost like this person may be surprised when maybe you don't want to just get back together with them. I don't know if this person's used to you just like taking them back or always being readily available to them or something like that. Now, I don't see them coming in towards you with bad intentions. I do have to tell you that. I asked what their intentions were. We have true love here. Experiencing wholeness, unconditional love, long-lasting bond. We have heartbreak. This person wasn't able to move on from you. All right. They may have... I, I think I was kind of touching on that earlier. Like, they were maybe on their on the dating apps they may maybe were dealing with other people but it's like they were maybe disappointed with that experience after maybe being with you um so they they felt like they couldn't move on from you this person's been watching you they're also jealous this person doesn't want to lose you to somebody else okay they're maybe jealous thinking you're dating other people um yeah not over you and they want to come in with it says a sincere offer of love now i feel like you guys don't know how you feel about this person anymore because you guys had already kind of made came to that conclusion that it was time to move on from this and that like you kind of formed like an opinion about this person and you felt like okay i see this clearly time to move on i you know i'm coming to re the terms of the reality of the situation time for me to move on from this now this person wants to come in and they want to build something with you and i don't see them having bad intentions okay i do see some jealousy there but I don't see them having bad intentions, but I feel like they're going to get pissed off here because I feel like when they come in with this offer, they're going to want you to just take them back, which is unrealistic of them. But maybe this is a part of their lessons. They're going to want you to just take them back. And I feel like you guys are not going to really know if you want to take this person back or not. And they're going to feel like it's one sided or that it's unrequited love. And I think this person's going to get pissed off because we have arguments. Tell me more about, um, tell me more about this person's intentions tell me more about this person's intentions oh see closed heart though what about closed heart friendship so maybe they want to take things slow yeah they're building trust a solid foundation so they do want to build a solid foundation with you they still are pretty guarded all right or closed off emotionally but they are changing yeah they are changing and it's because of meeting you anything else anything else that they need to know regret they're in regret so i feel like this person's intentions yeah what about poker face passion this person's going to be kind of hiding from you how much they really do are attracted to you and want you yeah but the feelings are mutual you may have to see like right when you started to think this person doesn't love me it was one-sided now they're they're coming i saw this when i was shuffling too this somebody's literally getting their shit together for you and i feel like they're good but the problem is guys you're yep i just saw the proof card you're going to want this person to prove themselves to you because you don't trust it. You need confirmation before you open up to this being with this person again. Some of you guys may not want them back at all, but I feel like they're going to be mad. I'll be honest. And that kind of shows like a lack of them. Not, I'd see that they're changing, but the fact that they're going to get mad at you over this kind of shows that they're a little bit out of touch with reality. Like what makes you think that somebody's just going to take you back after you then drug them through the fucking mud? You know what I mean? Like this person, if they're really serious about you, they will fight. They will give you that time. They will take, you know, they will move at your pace. What does this have to do with anything? This person's mad because they think that you're dating other people. Oh, yeah. This person's going to feel like you have other options. 
probably more what about spotlight they know that you get a lot see i'm telling you now they see this they've had this awakening to this connection now and now you don't know if you want them yeah now you're very pessimistic or you lost hope in things being able to work out between you and this person but we do have the star here what about the star risk maybe this person was in a really bad place when you were last dealing with them obviously if they were living their life the way that we saw but now they're like they've been healing and now they're in this energy where they want to take a leap of faith on this but you guys are very guarded towards them yep very guarded towards them yep anything else see what about habitual liar soulmate what about habitual liar and soulmate player Let's out in the cold see this person always like comes in and tells lies and says that they want to be with you but so are they going to leave them again divine intervention no it's just like the divine was kind of urging you to pull your energy back from this okay they want to go out there and explore other options and let them do that all right but this person couldn't escape this connection they couldn't do it Somebody can be very focused. So that's what this reading is, guys. That person, that man child or that woman child that you thought was never, ever going to grow up. Well, there's about to be a sudden turn of events and they're coming in and they're actually being serious now. And uh, you guys are not going to know if you want to have anything to do with this person. You're not even going to trust it. But from what I can see here, this person does not have bad intentions. <laughs> that's the, So, you know, you listen to you do what you feel comfortable with. Listen to your intuition. Don't ignore the red flags, but I'm just telling you what I see in this reading. This person definitely had a past of not being so great towards you. So you have every reason. You, I'm validating you in that aspect. That you, you are, um, what is the word? You are right for feeling like you need to protect yourself from this person or that, you know, you can't trust them. You have every reason to feel that way. But this person has realized something. Why? What is, why has this person realized something? I feel like you guys walked away from them. Two of Wands. What about Two of Wands? The Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The King of Cups in reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Whatever is about to happen with this person, you manifested. Them coming back, wanting to actually, you know, progress things with you, all that stuff. Yeah. We have Death. You have these changes. Scorpio energy. Clarify the Two of Wands. The Ten of Cups, for some of you, this is somebody that didn't know if they wanted to leave, like, an unhappy, like, relate, like, this person was definitely a player, and they definitely have new, multiple op options. I was going to even say numerous, which is really gross, but. Not only did they have that, but they could have possibly even had a freaking family, guys. They could have had a husband, a wife, a girlfriend, or a boyfriend that they were supposedly in a commitment with. And I feel like somebody didn't know if they wanted to leave that. If it's not that, they didn't know if they were wanted to like whatever was creating the distance between the two of you. They weren't ready, sure if they were, were ready to like leave behind the way that they had been living their life to get on the same page as you. Tell me about the page of swords. They've definitely been watching you. See? The magician. This person is a good talker. <sighs> yeah, this person is a very clever talker. Like they they know they're really good with their words. Mm -mm. What about the King of Cups in reverse? The Knight of Cups in reverse? I don't know about the no, yeah. Heavy water energy here. We also have Gemini, Virgo, Aries. This person is kind of fickle. Tell me about death though. The four of pentacles. What about the four of pentacles and death? The chariot in reverse, okay? And the ten of wands in reverse. The, now, it's like almost like you guys made the decision. What about the two of swords? I'm just kind of getting that energy where like you guys got sick of it. For some of you, you made, you were trying to decide whether or not you wanted to keep trying to work on something with this person or be done with them. Like I was saying earlier, and you guys finally came to that decision that you're done with this person, right? Because you just feel like you and this person's values don't align. And you guys couldn't have a family and you couldn't have that harmony between the two of you. 
And I feel like you guys maybe found out that this, it became clear to you or you found out that this person, that you became wiser. So you were able to see right through this person's manipulation and charming and sweet talking and all that stuff. And I feel like you guys made the decision to end this. All right. You decide to, decided to make the, the decision to end this and start protecting yourself. And it's like, you started, you finally said no. You didn't see this moving forward. And then we have the Eight of Wands here. Now somebody's like quickly making a decision here that they should have made a long time ago, but they were ignoring their intuition to possibly leave a third party. What is this? What's happening now? Something is changing. Yeah, there's some type of sacrifice or new perspective, release. Yep, somebody's seeing something clearly now. Yep, an illusion is coming to an end. And what's that mean for this person? The Two of Pentacles. See, the Wheel of Fortune, uh, the Strength card, the Strength to what? To end, I'm telling you, they're ending something here, something long-term. So what's that mean for my collective? Uh, that came out weird. Which way is this supposed to come out, Spirit? The Ace of Cups upright. New beginning in love. It's like kind of came out weird, though. So it's kind of like, yeah, why the King of Wands are reversed? So I don't like that. And the King of Swords. Ooh. Some of you guys have options. Some of you guys are confused about whether or not you want to go back to this person because you have another choice. Um, if it's not that, what is these two kings here for? You know, there's competition here, guys. Yeah, there's more than one person here. There could be maybe more than one person that wants you and you're holding back really from all of them. You're trying to heal from some type of toxicity. Or working on it. Huh. Before I take this over to the extended, let's see. Before I take it over to the extended, what else do they need to know? What do they need to know about whoever this is that all of a sudden has had a change of lustful desires? Yeah. What about that? At last and the unknown. There is a difference between love and lust. Don't let your desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. They don't want to get, want you to give up now when you've come this far because it will all be worth it in the end. The unknown scares them. They see the abundance you bring into their life, but they fear being wrong. Okay. See, I'm telling you, they're leaving a situation. They, they, it's like, yeah, they've had a choice. They, they've been trying to make up their mind about whether or not they. It's not even just so much between you and another person. It's between their old life and starting a new life, their comfort zone and getting out of their comfort zone. And it says there is a choice they have to make. They know that time is not on their side and risk losing you forever if they don't. You're dealing with a person that's a cheater, a player. They're wild. They, they indulge in risky behaviors. They entertain multiple people at once. And they met you and they have had this dilemma about whether or not they want to completely walk away from that lifestyle that they've been probably living for years and start a brand new life with you and leave all that shit behind. And they, it's, it's like they see that you're very abundant. They see that you're that powerful woman, right? But there's something also here where this person feels like they're not used to being with somebody like you. They're used to people that kind of like kind of give into what they want to do, where they have the control and the power. And I think this person does not like that you have some type of power over them. They don't, they kind of don't like your independence or they're not used to being with somebody that's like as independent as you, as powerful as you, um, as dominant as you, or I don't know, as attractive as you. There's something like that. Um, yeah, what's this card, court, card say? Take charge at home and business. Some of you guys are business owners or you just, you know, you, you mean what you say. And yeah, regal, goddess, and naturally confident. They're not used to dating somebody like you. Um, and I feel like that scared them too. They see like all that you achieve for yourself, but I don't know. They, for some reason, thought maybe it was just like too good to be true. They didn't feel worthy of it. But, um, and this is somebody that also has been trying to decide if like, they just have lust for you or if this is love. But I feel like there was something about you pulling away from this person that made them realize that this was more than just sex. Yeah, there's a breakthrough here. So this is somebody that's about to convince you to kind of like give them another chance to apologize. They tell you that they want to build a solid foundation. And I feel like this is somebody that you guys thought was never going to change. 
Yeah, that person you thought was never going to change or want to settle down. That's the person that there's about to be like a certain, sudden out of the blue turn of events where they are ready. And it's because you guys made the decision to like really end things with them and let them go. And it's like they had a change of heart. Yeah, something changed. If you are energetically connected with this person, they could have felt that, you know, that shift in the energy. But it says they are leaving all that is familiar to them or a long term relationship to start a brand new life with you. They want to start working on building a foundation with you and a life with you. All right. Even if it means that you guys got to start off as friends, because we did see that friendship aspect. So I want to take a deeper look at more about like what this person is feeling about you, intentions, guidance, all of that will be in the extended reading, the link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings um what was i gonna say private reading information can also be found in the description box and don't forget to like or follow me on instagram and tiktok if you're interested in collective readings i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and i will see you in the extended reading bye